Welcome to the 2022 Roadrunners King of the Desert Motorcycle and ATV Riders Meeting. The course consists of four 26 mile laps. There are four checkpoints in addition to home check and there are two road crossings. The race is completed when the first overall rider completes their fourth lap. Starting at 7 o'clock a.m. on Saturday, please stop by home check to sign the print and sign and to check in. There will be two lines split by last names. You will be required to either save or print the QR code from your registration. We will scan and then check you in. If you're not a district member, you will also pick up your pie plate number at check-ins. Riders for under the age of 18 will can drop off their minor release forms at check-in. Bomb run practice. For those who are new to District 38, prior to the start of the race at a designated time, you can practice what is called the bomb run. The bomb run is the start of the race course. Typically, the bomb run distance ranges from a quarter of a mile to a mile. The bomb run starts at the start line indicated by start markers as shown here. The end of the bomb run is marked by a large banner, also referred to as the bomb banner or bomb. Riders are not to go past the bomb banner during bomb run practice. Doing so is considered pre-running and is subject to disqualification. Riders are to return to the start line by following the red bomb return markers shown on the screen. Bomb return markers are a safe route back to the start line. Riders are welcome to practice the bomb run as many times as they'd like during bomb run practice. Race start. A member of the club will walk the start line checking skill bars to ensure you run the correct line. There is typically a four line start. Starting order is expert amateur bikes, expert amateur quads, novice beginner bikes, novice beginner quads. All pie platers are to start on the novice beginner line. Each line is a dead engine start. The race banner will be lifted. All engines are to be shut off. The start banner will remain up for 30 to 60 seconds. Once the start banner is dropped, all riders on the current line will start. After the last rider has left the line, a sweep rider will ride the bomb to ensure that the coast is all clear for the next line. During that time, the next line will move up to the start line. Once the sweep rider has returned and ensure the coast is clear, everything will repeat. Course markers. The course is marked by pink or orange arrows and pink ribbon. Turns are indicated by orange arrows in a 45 or 90 degree orientation. Depending on the speed of the turn, multiple arrows might be used. Either a 3-2-1, a 2-1, or just a single arrow configuration is used. The turn will be at the single arrow. After the turn, look for a single up arrow. Hazards are indicated by blue cards and or yellow caution tape. The severity of the hazard also follows the 3-2-1, 2-1, or single blue card configuration. The single blue card is the location of the hazard. If you come across a wrong way arrow, turn around and try to locate the nearest orange directional arrow to get back on course. Mile markers are at every mile. Please pay attention to mile markers. If you come across a down rider or a broken down rider, first ensure they are okay. Then please notify the nearest checkpoint with the person's riding number and what mile they are located at. There are several checkpoints throughout the course and one home checkpoint. Prior to the checkpoint, you will see a checkpoint ahead marker as shown on the screen. Please slow down to a safe speed and be respectful of checkpoint workers. If they cannot read your number due to your speed, you will not be scored. Pits. Pit row is after home check or the finish line. Pit row speed is 15 miles an hour. Speed limit violations are subject to penalties. Severity of penalty is determined by excess of speed. At the end of pit row, there will be a go, go, go sign letting you know when you can resume race speed. All COVID mitigation rules must be followed. Please read the district COVID mitigation plan located on our website prior to race day. This has been a Joe Shooter production.